So I'll be talking about scraping an emulation station, and basically what scraping does is it compares your game titles to uh, a database, and it pulls information on those games to display it nice and neat within emulation station. It's not something that's required, but it definitely uh, looks really nice on an emulation machine. So basically to do that, all you're going to do is open up your menu screen. Uh, you're going to go to your scraper. Uh, I usually scrape the games database. I've never tried it with the archive. Um, you're going to go to scrape now. And then uh, if you've already scraped some games, do missing images. Otherwise, you can do all your games. Uh, I'm just going to do NES. And then this is uh, probably one of the most important parts right here uh, as far as time consumption goes. Uh, user decides on conflicts. So basically what this looks like is if user decides on conflicts is on, then... Uh, for every single game, it's going to let you look at the games that it pulled from the database and decide which one is the correct one, or if none of them are correct, it'll let you skip it. Uh, if this is off, then it's just going to choose whichever one it thinks is best. So what I suggest is if you don't have that many games, you know, 15, 20, 30 games, uh, decide on the conflicts on your own uh, to make sure everything goes in correctly. If you've got hundreds of games, uh, then I suggest you just go through your list of games, make sure they're titled as accurately as you can get them so that the database doesn't get confused. Uh, so I'm going to show you with user decides on conflicts off first. So what this is going to look like is it's just going to go through the games. And, uh, if you're scraping a large amount of games, like in the hundreds, sometimes the screen will kind of gray out a little bit. All you have to do is press something on your keyboard, any button on your keyboard, and it'll start scraping again. Uh, so this is what it looks like when you do it automatically. And then I will show you, this is what it looks like after you've scraped. So it looks nice and neat with the box art and the description, how many times you've played it, all kinds of stuff. Uh, now this is what it's going to look like if you scrape... deciding on conflicts. So I'm going to switch that to all games. So now if I decide on the conflicts, it's going to pull Aladdin. I'm going to say, yes, that's right. And if it's not right, then you can skip it. Uh, Back to the Future, that one looks correct. Battle Chess looks correct. But you can see it pulled a big list. Blades of Steel looks correct. Okay, now you'll notice Bomberman. This is supposed to be the first Bomberman if you look at my game title but it pulled Bomberman 2 as the top one, which means when I scraped automatically, it actually gave it the wrong title and the wrong box art and stuff. So that's the kind of stuff you have to watch out for. So I'm going to select the correct box art, Bomberman. And then that's our last one. And they were all scraped correctly. So now if we go through our list, it looks nice and neat with the box art and stuff. So uh, when you're... When you're Setting up, when you're getting ready to do the scraping, and I would pull up the config file, except the way my screen recording program is set up, it only works on the full screen program, but I'll just explain it. When you're setting up Emulation Station with your config file, there's a section that says Platform, and in that section that says Platform, you're going to want to make sure you use the correct short name for your system. So for this, it would be NES. For Nintendo 64, it's N64. Um, and to find that list of short names, just go to the Emulation Station website uh, and go to the Setup page. And on that page, it'll show you the list of short platform short names that are used for scraping. And I'll actually include a link to that in the description. Um, and if you have any questions on this, then just feel free to comment uh, on the video or send me a message on YouTube or send me an email uh, if you have any issues. Otherwise, if you got any value out of this video, then definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be trying to post more emulation-related videos every week. Uh, and that's about it, so hope you enjoyed.